Hello and welcome to Stephanie's Movie Reviews. I am your host, Stephanie Thompson. I'm a member of the Screen Actors Guild and AFTRA, a classically trained singer-songwriter, a vocal coach, and an actor myself. In this show, we review four categories of films, action, family, drama, and comedy. Well, in this segment, we're gonna review two action films. The first film that we're gonna review is Kingsman, The Golden Circle. And the second film that we're gonna review after the commercial break is The Mountain Between Us. So for this first film, The Kingsman, The Golden Circle, we're back with Eggsy, and he's a member of the Kingsmen. The Kingsmen's headquarters get destroyed, and Eggsy stumbles upon another secret society, the Statesmen, and they are on the same mission as the Kingsmen to promote world peace and tranquility throughout the world. And so the two organizations unite against this evil woman, Poppy, who is a drug czar and is trying to put her drugs throughout this world and, and cause a terrible uh, disease and, and, and with her drugs and everything like that. That's basically the premise of the movie. Okay, so the first movie that I saw, the Kingsman movie, I did not like it all. In fact, I was bored. <laughs> I pretty much fell asleep. But this one, 30 seconds into the movie, it had me. It was action all the way. Eggsy, first of all, has really evolved as a character and as a man and as a Kingsman. And I was really impressed watching him. So in the beginning, he ha has all this action and people are after him and everything. And headquarters gets destroyed. And he's on this very important dinner with his girlfriend, his, his princess girlfriend. So that's why he doesn't get destroyed with the headquarters and all the other people. Well, I don't want to give any spoilers. But anyway, and his dog gets killed, which is really sad. But anyway, so he meets these statesmen society and the kingsmen are involved in clothing but the statesmen are involved in liquor and they're kind of a southern gentleman so they have names like whiskey and tequila and champagne or champ for short and it's just fun and tongue-in-cheek and i really really enjoyed it now poppy the drug czar is played by julianne moore she is hysterical in her character. She must have had a lot of fun playing that character because she's so light and frothy and she's just like killing you with kindness and talking to you like this at the same time while ordering your murder. <laughs> and just a little FYI, do not accept a hamburger from this woman, okay? <laughs> so. I really enjoyed this movie. I thought it was fantastic on so many levels. The lesson that I got from the movie was find a good mentor who believes in you and reminds you to believe in yourself. I have found that in Amy Kardashian and I'm so grateful for that. Having a good mentor means everything. When you're not feeling your 100%, to have someone there to remind you that you actually do have something to offer the world. So I gave this movie five popcorns. I couldn't find a thing wrong with this movie. I enjoyed it so much. And that's my take on Statesman, The Golden Circle. When we come back after this commercial break, we're gonna talk about the mountain between us. Are you frustrated and wasting time searching for high quality education and entertainment? and not finding it? Stop wasting your time. We've got your solution. Our three dynamic and unique online TV shows provide you with high quality and easy to find content. Everything from business skills and self-development to book and movie reviews and everything in between. At akexpertstv.com you'll find high quality experts in their field. In one place at no cost to you. Visit www.akexpertstv.com today. 
Hello and welcome back to Stephanie's Movie Reviews. Well, the first movie that we reviewed was The Kingsman Golden Circle, and now we're going to talk about The Mountain Between Us, which is based on a book by, called The Mountain Between Us by Charles Martin and stars Kate Winslet and Idris Elba. This movie was, well, let's talk about what the synopsis is. Two strangers charter a plane, they have a horrific plane crash, and they have to make a decision to rely on each other to survive, basically. And they have to decide, are they gonna stay with the plane and, and hope for rescue, or are they gonna try to trek across this snowy, icy mountain in this wilderness, this harsh planet wilderness, and try to get help. That's the premise of the movie. This movie was a surprise to me on a lot of levels. I did not expect to get drawn into it so much. It was, it had many layers to it. When you're talking about two characters, well actually I found the mountain to be the third character in the movie. The, the harsh climate that they were dealing with found that to be the third character. But the two characters played by Kate Winslet and Idris Elba, how they interacted with each other was fascinating to watch. And I believed the growing relationship between them, the first of, of beginning of how they were strangers and they were not really sure of each other and how they were thrown into this situation together and then their tenuous connection and building a somewhat of a relationship and go bonding together through this ordeal. I believed it and I was captivated by the the directing by Hani Abu Asad and by the acting of the two actors Winslet and uh, Idris Elba those were crucial elements for me which made the movie so powerful and the movie was a surprise and I'm not going to tell you why the movie was a surprise because I don't want to give any spoilers but it turned into something completely what I was not expecting and it just turned into a beautiful, beautiful movie. The cinematography was fantastic. I really felt, I, I remember sitting in the theater and feeling the, the coldness of that mountain and just thinking, you know, I could feel the, the, the starkness of, the, of where they were and I, I, I felt their, their uh, situation right along with them. It was just really, really a good movie. I gave this movie four popcorns. I thought it was really well done, really well acted, really well directed. It went in a direction that I was not expecting and I enjoyed it tremendously. And the lesson that I got from it is do not go charter a plane with total strangers and not tell anyone where you're going or what you're doing or where you are. That seems to be a no-brainer to me, but that's the lesson I got from it. We'll be back after this message. I didn't focus on my weaknesses. I focused on my strength and I was able not only to lead myself, I was able to lead my team into success. Many people ask me, what do you mean by awakening the powerful leader within you? I have been leading myself and others for years. Well, I tell them, of course you have, but did you know that you have way more power than you can ever imagine? See, you and I, we were born with the capability to lead ourselves 
to live our purpose. Then life's challenges and obstacles come along and buries our capabilities. How do I know that? I know it because life happened to me. My question to you today is this. What are you creating? Now, I don't know what he was thinking. Maybe he was thinking I'm gonna download something. <laughs> <laughs>